Second period action continues four to one. South Hadley with the first goal of the game by Evan Sullivan, their leading scorer. Spartans with two goals from Waski, goal from Trace and a goal from Morris. First goal of the career for Morris. Spartans go back to play it. Behind the cage, Leahy can't get the puck out. Puck comes right out front. Nice save there by Gasparini. Up the ice comes Waski. Shot goes back door, broken up by South Hadley. Right out front, South Hadley throws it into the corner. Around the wall, Waski is dealing. Shot right on, steered wide by Justin Garon. Shot high, hits something right out front. Broken up by South Hadley, goes back to the corner. 11.21 left, second period, 4-1 the score. South Hadley with a little bit of life here down this, this end. Waski. Battling hard is Anthony Forrest, a sophomore. Forrest up the wall. It's broken up. South Hadley tries to break it out. And comes right through the center all the way to the corner. Puck right out front. Broken up. Saraceno able to steer the puck out to center ice. Ficini with it. Ficini gets hauled down. They're going to be a penalty. Definitely a strong first period here from the Spartans. Came out, finding success, just throwing the puck on net and got a few good opportunities just by going to the cage. And definitely a weak goaltender here from South Hadley. But putting up four goals in the first period is definitely how they wanted to start this game. But so far here in the second, South Hadley's got the momentum with the first goal. After an eight to two loss last night to Westfield, Spartans fell to two and three in the Bear Division. But coming back strong today, and even it up at three and three. Ficina gets mauled going in and Spartans will go on a power play. Forrest battles. Back door to Waski. Waski with a wrister gets blocked wide. South Hadley able to ice the puck. Coming out for South Hadley and a shorty. Great save by Gaspo. Didn't know where it was, but he handled it. Bates back to collect it. South Hadley sending two four checkers deep. Spartans able to get it in deep. 106 left on the power play. Boski along the half wall. Gets tied up with his own man. As they battle in the corner, South Hadley able to dump it out. Sending a... South Hadley going for a shorthanded goal. Two men back. Rister blocked by Garon. And South Hadley able to throw that puck out of the zone. 40 left on the power play. Bates pulls up. Boski along the left side carries it in. Does a good job with his body handling the checker. Oh, right on the stick of Corbin. Now they're able to put it home. Goes all the way down. 19 left in the power play. The penalty to Tito Grande making his appearance. Buck thrown out of the zone. Tigers for South Hadley, dump it in, get it on side. Griffin Trace unable to get it out, and the penalty's up. 9-11 left, second period, four to one the score. Bates tries to send it up the wall, chops it ahead. Villano with it for South Hadley. Jacques Villano. And here comes Corbin. Right across, oh, broken up by South Hadley defenseman, Stump Jumpman. South Hadley ices it. So 8.48 left in the second period. Gasparino there having to face a breakaway shorthand and now what he wanted to be doing in that situation was able to stand up to the challenge and make the save. Gasparino Savar is having a real good year. Some people saying could be the best goalie in the Barry division. Despite the one breakdown he faced so far, letting up the one goal, he's been playing well. Griffin Trace, Alamo. And Morris, the, the line's strong third line for the Spartans today with two goals. Comes right out to the point. Leahy, fans on it. Out comes South Hadley, two on one. Good hit there by, by Nick Buendo. And the puck gets sent down. Buendo playing some solid defense. 
Buck goes into the South Hadley corner. Goes D to D. Looking to send it up the wall. Kept in by Buendo. And good second effort by Nick Buendo. Otherwise, South Hadley would have had a little break. And they're going to say no ice. It was tipped. Back to get it. Leahy throws it up the wall. Nice touch pass. Not, or just out of the zone. They said no. That was looked off sides from here. Griffin Trace, nice little toe drag at the line, pulls it all the way in. Solid play by Trace. And South Hadley with a sneaky breakaway, unable to capitalize on it as the puck got hung up in his skates. Back to the point, wristed in, shoot, score! That looked like it was tipped by number 26. Tough break there for the Spartans defense. Just a little broken play coming to the zone. South Hadley player able, able to lay it up for cross to the defenseman. Puck a shot on net, deflected a few times, able to sneak through the five hole. Kind of an unlucky break there for the Spartans. Put South Hadley back on the board, two, four to two. When you write down uh, the goal, would you mind writing down the time just for the editor? Okay. Tigers on the score, number 26, Bo Cass. Both goals in second period for South Hadley after they get down four nothing. That is offsides by about a, a, a mile, no call. Pacini, toe drags, throws it right out front, broken up by South Hadley. South Hadley with three man back, trying to plug up the front. Another face on D. 22, who's 22? Bates out there, trying to break it up. Wraparound attempt, throw right out front, they score! Four to three, South Hadley, just like that. He's slowing better with breakdowns in their own zone. I don't know what the South Hadley coach had to say between periods, but it definitely sparked up his team. Three goals already. A little over halfway through the second period. Spartans need to find a way to bounce back and put something on the board and turn this around. Martin's on their heels here in the second period. Face off control by the Tigers. Second goal of the night for Bo Cass. And that puck will go for icing. Back to get it. Nick Buendo. The Spartans here in the second really haven't even had too many opportunities to put pucks on net besides the one power play they had. Really, it's a complete 180 from the first period. They're in the offensive zone the entire time here in the second. There's real no offensive productivity. Anthony Forrest on the drive with Corbin and Waski. Top line's got to get some pressure. Dug up by Waski and Corbin, and able to get it out of the zone. Slung Meadow tags up, shot right on, loved by Garon, and South Hadley plays it. And that wasn't touched. It's not going to go for ice. He didn't make it. Buck comes around the wall to Corbin. Corbin. Forces a pass through the middle, broken up by South Hadley. And back together, East Long Meadow D. Wendell, pass up ahead. Should not go for icing. Back together, South Hadley wraps it around. Corbin, quick shot on, glove by Garon. And it goes behind the cage. Back together again is Corbin. Corbin throws into the corner, looking for a cycle. And South Hadley just ices the puck with 5.22 left, second period. Four to three, East Long Meadow still with a one goal lead. Spartans here in the second. Looks like all three lines just content with throwing the puck up to South Hadley, trying to chase it. Problem is they're not even doing it in the offensive zone. Having a hard time breaking the puck out and maintaining any offensive pressure. You can see this third line, they're trying to create first period and two goals can put something together. Lamo Trace and Morris. South Hadley, first one on it, comes right across. Nobody home. Sullivan, one of their top scorers, throws it around over to We Met. 
Broken up by Alamo. And here come the Spartans trying to break it out. Buck forced through the middle. South Hadley tags up. Here comes the Spartans, dumps it in. Three on two pressure. Comes up the wall, all the way out. Broken up by Jimmy Bates. Nice play by Bates. Rister tipped and gloved by Garung. Seems like South Hadley here, every time they're in the defensive zone, just throwing it up, look for the home run pass. They've gotten two or three real good offensive chances just by throwing it out of the zone and chasing it. Of course, we've had a few icings from it, but I guess they'll take that. Here in the Ferry Division, they're able to change up if they want to on the icing. Pacini, Saracino, and Zach Martin line for the Spartans. Window unable to keep it in. Three on one for a moment. Right through the middle, Sweeney broke it up. And jumping on it is Gasparini. There it was again, same play from South Hadley, getting the defense zone and just throwing it out off the glass. All three forwards going up to chase it. Got him a nice three on one opportunity there. Gasparini able to make the save. Saracino on the draw for the Spartans. Get it out of the zone. Nice play by Ficini. Ficini's got help in the back door. Get right over to Martin. Martin shot, oh, at the left post. It goes wide. Nice play by Martin. Had plenty of time to put his head up and picked his corner, but just missed. And a great pass over to Martin. Back to the point. Spartans with some sustained pressure. Shot tipped, just goes wide, back into the corner. Martin over to get it, takes a heavy hit. Kept in there by Saracino, dumps it back in over to Martin. Martin looking to set up, right across the Saracino, back door. Oh, another shot wide by Ficini. Goes over the corner, Buendo tries to throw it in the zone. Back comes South Hadley with 3.36 left, second period. Good hustle by this, this second line for the Spartans. Hard pass up ahead, just looks like it's gonna be out of reach and it's gonna go for icing. A great shift there from the freshman, Seth Martin for East Long Meadow. Few good opportunities there. I'm sure you wanna have that one back. You got about a half hour to take the shot there in the slot. Put it right off the post. And it looks like now South Hadley's gonna be shorthanded on a roughing penalty after the whistle. Dominic Florence will go. Spartans are back on the power play. Spartan, Spartan could come up with a nice goal here and make up for those three that went in for South Adley. Spartans playing with Waski on D on, on the point. Forrest with the draws. I'm able to play it back. Good aggressive play there by Jimmy Bates to keep the puck in the neutral zone. Wolowski dangles in and fires it around the boards. Over to get is Forrest. Forrest ties up his man, but South Hadley goes for the home run. Broken up there by Wolowski. Wolowski has to wait. Throws it over to Forrest. Wolowski with a nice dangle. Bates. Looking to set up a set up the triangle. And once again, South Hadley is hanging. And out they come. And be no icing. Shot by Gaspo. Gaspo keeps it alive smartly. South Hadley right on it. Gaspo squares up and he's not gonna, thought he was gonna hang on to that one. Puck goes wide, shot, oh! Great shot by Corbin, just goes wide. South Hadley once again trying to get a shorty on this small ice surface. And Jimmy Bates is gonna get an interference penalty. I don't know how you can give him interference on that one. The puck is sitting there right in his case. He just got tangled up with a South Hadley player and put him down. Guess the ref might have saw something different there. Looked like just kind of a scuffle against the boards and then an incidental contact and then players tied up together. South Happy players will have to go down. So we'll have four on four hockey for 21 seconds with 2.11 left in the second period.
broken stick. <laughs> Referee are cleaning up some extra lumber sitting against the boards in the far end. Another $150. Four on four, oh, he's icy, he iced the puck. Four on four plays. Mr. Ficini can't do that. I think you forgot about the power play they just had. 13 seconds left until the Spartans will be short-handed. 13 seconds left on the four on four. Face off, controlled by the Spartans. Over to the wall, Saracino with it. He's got Ficini. Oh, tries to send him. Ficini keeps the puck in front of him. Puck goes in the zone. Saracino with a shot. Tip, and he scores! South Hadley got a piece of it, but Saracino with the nice goal. It's a good play there. Saracino able to pick the puck up a little over the space. Just fired a slap shot on that, which was definitely working for him in the first period, but he got, got the benefit there. Tipped off the South Hadley player and just went five hole. It gives five to three here with 146 left in the second period. So that should be Ficini, or uh, Saracino from Ficini. Ficini I think that, nice was, shot. that was after the penalty was over. That's a shorthanded goal. Uh -huh. Good call. 106 power play now for South Hadley. Five to three the score. Back to get his window. He sends him. And Saracino's got his breakaway. Oh, nice deep, but he gets poke checked at the last second. Saracino from his knees. South Hadley content to rag the puck. Three on one. South Hadley sets up their power play. Comes across. 35 left, goes to the corner. Right out front. Brister, loved by Gaspo. He's going to hang on with 26 left in the power play. Sure, Saracino wants another shot at that breakaway. Made a good play, calling for the puck going in. Knew he had space to go. Called for it, got it, was able to make the play catch it in his hand. Just couldn't make the move on the breakaway. Got, got poke checked right before he was able to put it home. A shorthanded bid by the Spartans. Would have been a second shorthanded goal of the same penalty. Waski and Corbin come back two on two. Corbin pulls up, gets it across. Short-handed bid, South Hadley hanging once again. Spartans come back. Window, nice job breaking it up. South Hadley just staying on side, all even. 31 left in the second period, here comes Corbin. He's got Waski. Waski with a deke and he scores! Nice play by Corbin to set it up. Corbin there coming down the wall. He knew he had Waski flying in on the far side back door. He able to make a good pass across and Waski makes the move to the, to the other side and puts it on the back end. Six to three here with just 22 seconds left in the second period. That's a hattie for, for Waski. Third goal of the game. Spartans did a good job here after the slow start to the period, turning it around. So two goals for the Spartans here in the second period. Spartans goal scored by number 10, Ben Olsen. 20 seconds left, looking for another one. Right out front, broke it up. Backhander hit somebody in front, just trickles wide. It's a long 12 seconds, they just started the clock. Shot wide, tipped again by South Hadley. South Hadley helping out East Long Meadow. And that should do it for the second period. So four or two second period goals for the Spartans, three second period goals for the Tigers. Score six to three after two periods. Back to third period action, 14-03 left. Spartans with a quick goal. Corbin from Waski. Oh, shot just gets poked wide. Right up the middle. Bates, got the Bates. Bates tandem out there, get it off the boards. And it could go for icing, a little bit too strong. Ficini hacking on the way back. Good goal he missed there from uh, Corbin. Ben Wasi blocked a shot on the, on the defensive end. 
able to chase it down and fed it right across for a backdoor goal by Corbin, just put it upstairs. Beautiful shot right under the crossbar. 7-3 seven, seven, now Spartans. 13-43 still remaining in this game. Imagine Coach Reed had some choice words in between periods there for these guys after that second period. Spartans able to work that puck not out. Tigers with a shot. Save right in the crease. And they bang it home. Looked like one of the Spartans got a piece of it. Gasparini able to make the first save off the shot from South Hadley. Didn't control the rebound, and no Spartans players are there to clear it out. South Hadley able to get to it first and bang it home. 7 4 now. Spartans still in the lead. So Gasparini able to make the initial save, but the rebound just sat there in the crease. A couple no. of Spartans looking at it. No defense in there to clear that to the corner. Third line out for the Spartans. Tigers banging around. Go over to Buendo. Buendo offsides. It's still offsides, and Norm blows it up. It's third line for the Spartans here, just recently put together by Coach Reed. Giving the Spartans, giving him the opportunity to uh, to roll three lines here. He's been rolling two lines in the past, but now this third line together working well. So Leahy and Sullivan are going to go for a matching roughing. We're going to play five on five hockey with 13, 18 left in the third period. Looks like Angelica Mashenko is getting a shift here at center. She wins the draw. Spartans keeping that pressure on. Mashenko. Tips it forward. Over to Mashenko. Mashenko with a shot and blocked by Karan. Good forecheck by the Spartans. Mashenko plays it to the corner right out front. One timer. Oh, the goalie didn't even know it hit him. Shot from the point. Rebound score. Kwaski on the back door. Looks like it's going to be an assist for Jacob Bates, his first point. Jacob Bates just taking the wrister from the point. Another. Fat rebound set there for Waski to put home his fourth goal of the night. Eight to four now, Spartans lead. 12:48 left in the third. Looks like Coach Reed there mixing lines up a little bit, giving Mashenko the shift. Four is sitting down. Mashenko did a fine job there, getting that puck loose. A good forecheck there, able to break it up and set that play up. Shot saved, two saves right there by Gasparini. Second time after the Spartans scored. Not playing any defense, giving South Hadley the opportunity to come back. Almost in there again. Right back to another, another save by Gaspo. And it comes out through center. Saraceno playing tough. Tries to dangle, kept in by South Hadley at the line. And Banged out by Bates. Joshua Bates, or Jacob Bates. Shot and gloved by Caron. Looks like the Spartans might have found the, found the right idea here in the third. Just put everything to the net and see what happens. This goalie letting in a few weak ones, and especially just letting up huge rebounds. Spartans have put home a few goals on rebounds. Definitely the right player to just put pucks on net and see what happens. Griffin Trace picks up the faceoff and puck thrown down by South Hadley. No icing. Bates plays it over to Jimmy. Puck comes up front. Gasparini with the save with 11.57 left, second period, or third period. Oh, we got Bates and Bates back on Dino. Cousins. Off taken. Spartans moving through the middle, onside. Trace gained the line, but then got broken up. Trace with it, throws it in over to the half wall. And South Hadley, that should that should have been a whistle. I think it hit somebody on the bench. Bates throws it through center, and it's going to go for icing. Jacob Bates, welcome to the Barry Division. <laughs> throws up for icing and gets plowed open ice. Gotta keep your head up, kid. Fresh 
Ashburn, Jacob Bates. That goes back to the point. Kept in by South Hadley. Angelica Mashenko out there. Puck right in, broke it up. Still loose in front. Out come the Spartans. Forgot the puck. Here comes Sullivan. Sullivan with a wrister goes wide. And another save by Waski. Another save. Puck goes behind the cage. Around the wall, not out. Back to the point, gets thrown into the corner. Buendo unable to play it. Leahy back there for it. Right out front, blocked again. Back to the point. Little wrister. Shako able to bang that puck out of the zone as Waski gives chase through center. Back to get it is Buendo. Buendo makes the play up the wall. Nice touch pass over to Waski through the middle. Waski trying to pick up some help. Right over. Puck kicked around. Shako trying to get loose. Waski takes a heavy hit. Nice clean hit. Looked like a head-to-head -head hit. And out through center. And they're going to call it icing with 9.52 left. Third period, 8-4 to four the score. We haven't seen Forrest here in the third period. It's like on that line with Waski and Corbin. We've had uh, Mashenko here in the third. Have to get the story behind that one. So we got Blair, Ficini, and Saracino. Wristed in, blocked. Blocked by South Hadley. Jacob Bates, nice little touch pass back to Saracino, who takes it over. Wristed in. Oh, where is it? Goaltender thought he had his glove and just, just went wide. Jimmy Bates able to dump it in. Saracino gives chase. Puck comes all the way around the wall. Tigers break it out. Kept in at the line. Oh. Back comes Tito Grande for South Hadley, but broken up. Referee is able to keep that puck in the zone. And it's chipped out. Puck goes around the wall. It's teed up by Gasparini. He was able to play that puck. Jimmy Bates looking for some open ice. Just flips it out to center ice, and South Hadley Dumps it. Back to get it. Jacob Bates. Jacob Bates getting some playing time with an injury to Peter Trace. Nice play up through the middle. Saracino, one on two. He scores! <laughs> he tees up a haymaker, and the goaltender misplayed it. It's just what we were talking about this week, goalie. Just a nice, easy, low shot on net right on the ice. Goaltender just trying to play with his stick and ended up deflecting right off the crossbar and in. That one coming off the stick, he thought, no way that's going in the net. Nine to four here for the Spartans. 831 left in the game. Always a good idea to throw something on the cage. Saracino with the second goal of the night to make it nine to four. Puck goes behind the cage. Maury's giving battle back there. Still battles. Comes up the wall. Malamo can't get it out. Does. Comes up the wall to Trace. Nice toe drag. Comes right off front, right back, and it gets broken up. It goes back to the point. Window fires it in the corner. And they cycle over. Morris plays it around up to the point. Kept in nicely by Leahy. Spartans content to play it on the outside. Keeping them some offensive zone time with 7.37 left in the game. And puck comes all the way around the wall. Out it comes, back to get his Leahy. South Hadley goes for a full line change. Leahy falls down, cleaned up. Shot saved, another saving, covered up. 
Oh, they're going to get both of them. Tough play there. Gasparini having to make a save. Lee trying to make a pass up and out of the zone, but fell. Can't stop having a good two-man opportunity right in the front of the net with a couple shots. Gasparini able to make the save. Looks like we'll have penalty offsetting with Leahy and Evan Sullivan from South Hadley. Should be going, I think, five on five here at the roughen calls after the whistle. Should be even strength, five on five play. 7.13 left, third period, nine to four. Coach Reed getting an explanation on the bench. Doesn't look too happy about whatever was called. Spartans for having a player come over to serve some kind of penalty. As Leahy leaves the box. Could be, it could be the night for Leahy. I don't know if that's his, that's not his fourth penalty of the night. I don't think he's had any yet. Unsportsmanlike conduct, perhaps, or misconduct. So a penalty's gonna be served. Waski. Waski went in the box? Yep. Forrest with it on the left side. Tries to get lined up by Monroe, but keeps the puck moving. Ooh. Shanko goes in hard. She's okay with the puck, looking to set something up. Right out front. Corbin feeds it to the center ice. Bates battles. Back comes South Hadley. Broken up by Jacob Bates. Good play by Bates just to get that puck out of the zone. 6.30 left, third period. South Hadley dumps it in. Jimmy Bates with it. Over to Jacob, up the wall. Nice little touch pass to Mashenko. Mashenko with some speed. Rister, and gets broken up. Forrest battling hard in the corner. South had to be able to fire it out. That should go for icing with six minutes left in this third period. Check we're getting a few new players playing in this third period for the Spartans. We've got Brian Blair coming on and playing. Got a few shifts to the second line, typically of Martin, Saracino, and Percini. Looks like he's taking each of them out for a shift, cycling through that line. As well as Mashenko on the top line. So we got Saracino. No. Yeah, Saracino with Blair and Zach Martin. Saracino, turnaround wrister broken up. Kept in nicely by number 19. Griffin Trace playing some D. Trace able to poke it ahead out of the zone. That's, that's offsides. Jesus, these guys are missing some stuff. Play by Trace to keep on his feet after he got hit in the boards. Buck comes to the middle of the ice. Spartans battle it. Dump it in the zone. And out comes South Hadley. Those who do center dump right in. 518 left. Back to get it. Griffin Trace playing a shift at D. And able to get it out is Blair. Saracino dumps it in deep, almost on cage. Martin, Martin comes out. Tries to get free, wrap around right out front, comes right out to the middle. One timer. And South Hadley plays it. And gets it out three on two, but they go for a quick line change. Back to get it is Trace. Spartans change up. Got some fresh legs on the ice. Dumped in by Saracino and he takes a, takes a seat. Yeah, that's offsides that time. Oh, I got that one. I think here, Coach Reed sees this as an opportunity to try out some new, some new line pairings. Give the fourth line a few shifts. Got, got Ficini out there. Number nine. 
Oh, Morris. Here comes South Hadley. Shot right on. Gaspo covers up nicely with 407 left. And Waski comes out of the box. Or doesn't. Yep, she's letting him go. We get the call downstairs on the situation here at Leahy on D. Five left, nine to four the score. Spartans can't get it out. Big shot goes all the way around. And just out of the zone. So South Hadley tags up, chases it in. Bates to Bates to Bates. Not out. And Ficini tries to bang it out, does. Big collision at the line. With number nine, Morris. Goes back into the corner, Bates back for it. Trying to work his way out. Broken up by South Hadley. They try to get it out front, but able to cover it up is Gaspo. Seen a few big helmet to helmet collisions today. Is this something they're trying to cut down on? No calls on it here. And right there with Morris and one earlier with. Um, who was it? Martin Corbett, I think, earlier. Took a big helmet to helmet hit. Right out in the crease, cleaned up nicely. Home run pass. Here comes Waski. Waski trying to set somebody up. Oh, Forrest gets a tip on it. Mashenko tries to throw it out front. Still with it, she dangles. Comes out with the puck. Nice little pass. Doing a good job moving the puck. And Waski, Waski looking to set somebody up. Right out front to Mashenko, who tips it, just goes wide. It to get it is Trace. Puck goes up the wall, stays in. Shot, goes behind the cage, chasing after it. Ben Waski. Waski makes a nice dangle. Shot, pass over, right in front, oh! Swoop. Anthony Forrest almost had one. He had the crease. And they go for icing. Mashenko not afraid to play in those dirty areas in front of the net, behind the net. Really mixing it up down there. Got a few opportunities from him. I don't say able to pull one home. Bates and Bates on D. Martin taking the draw with Saracino and Blair. Puck off the glass and Bates collects it at center ice. Tries to fire it ahead, misses his man. They're gonna go for icing with 2.11 left. Nine to four the score. Spartans definitely whacking a few guys on D here. Leahy being thrown out of the game and a hurt defenseman. Definitely running low here. Not, not your typical defensive lineup here for the Spartans in the third. Puck settled down by South Hadley. Say, another save by Gaspo, and he just covers up. I don't think he even knew where that one was. Just went down to the butterfly, and the puck hit him, he kept it. Gaspo getting a share of rubber tonight. He's probably made 20 saves. Puck steered to the corner. Saracino throws it behind the cage. Over to Jim Bates. Zach Martin with a hit along the wall. Puck still in the zone. Martin tried to work it out. And Bates gonna take a skate of his own on the left side. Rister gets blocked. Puck in front. South Hadley crashing along the net. And that should not go for icing. Cirocino wraps it around. It's coming all the way to center ice. And South Hadley has to wait for the man to tag up. It's offsides. And they gotta tag up. Let's play to Saracino. Nice little footwork there. 
Pulls up, a little head fake. Waits for his man to get open. Blair backhands it up front. And out comes South Hadley. Nice kick there by Bates. And it comes to Saracino again. Center ice dangles around, broken up by South Hadley with 54 left, third period. Dumped in by Federici. Uh, that was a giveaway right in front. Blocked. South Hadley crashing in. Where's the D? South Hadley wrapped around, blocked, right out front. Nobody's helping him out, he's all alone, geez. Spartan standing around. Get out of the zone, here comes Forrest, two on one, he's got Waski. Shots go! Forrest with a nice shot. Make it 10 to four. 11 seconds left. Forrest must just got fed up with that play in the defensive zone. If no one cleared anybody out of the front of the net, South Hadley had about six opportunities there. Forrest taking it all by himself, put it upstairs. Put a cap on this one, 10 to four with 11 seconds left. Angelica Mashenko to take the draw. Stares it ahead to Waski. And broken up. South Hadley with one last effort. Nice clean hit there. And that'll do it. Nice clean hit there by Griffin Trace, and that'll do it. So Spartans with a 10 to four win here in South Hadley. Despite a slow second period, I think overall Spartans played a pretty good game here. A few mistakes got to clean up, clean up in front of the net, but take the 10 to four win. Thank you for watching Elkhead Sports with your announcer, Dr. Bill Bazin and Alex Bazin. We'll see you again.